You know, I think there's a lot to be said about having a can-do attitude. And a lot of people misconstrue a can-do attitude as someone who just is always, you know, peppy and upbeat and ready to rock, you know, whatever it is they put their mind to. And well, that is definitely a part of a can-do attitude. I think a can-do attitude starts internally. And it's really, among other things, the kind of bedrock that a determined human being rests their determination upon. A can-do attitude has to do with waking up and telling yourself every day, I can do the things that I need to do today. And I can do whatever it is I put my mind to. And I think part of having a healthy can-do attitude is recognizing that believing that you can do everything you put your mind to and also recognizing that some days you won't succeed are both important. You know, getting down on yourself for failure is the opposite of having a can-do attitude. I think it's waking up every morning saying, I can do whatever I put my mind to and I can do whatever I need to do today to succeed. But I think it also means that when you go to bed at night and you start to look back on the things that you wanted to do, that you believed you could do, that you didn't quite get to that day, you need to be able to shut that kind of thinking down and say instead, I can do that another day. I can do that. And that's really the, the baseline right there. It's the idea that can't should not be part of your vocabulary in relation to your abilities or your ceiling or uh, your limits. Can't should not be there. We, you know, growing up, used to be told, I, I, my parents used to tell me, don't use can't, can't's a bad word. You know, can't is a four letter word, don't use the word can't. But it's something that I got from my parents, uh, particularly my dad. You know, if I would say, I can't do it, say, my dad would say, no, no, no. Don't say you can't do it. Say, it's a challenge, or I'm finding this challenging, or this is a difficult thing that I need to see through. You know, that's the idea is, can't needs to not be a part of your vocabulary to have a can-do attitude. I mean, you can use it in other usages, like, you know, uh, you can't extract water from the sun. Like, that's a definitive statement, whatever. But saying, I can't, the phrase, I can't, is really what's going to poison your capabilities in life and poison your potential and limit you. You need to say to yourself, I can do the thing. And if it's not today, it's tomorrow. And if it's not tomorrow, it's next week. But no matter what, I can do the thing if I deem the thing to be truly worth doing. And that's the final part right there too. Is it worth doing? Does this thing that I am trying to see through align with my own personality? Align with my goals, my hopes and dreams? And is it something that I want to do? Because, you know, forcing yourself to do something that you don't want to do is usually a sign that you shouldn't be doing it. Not always. Like, granted, there are times in life, like, I don't want to do taxes. That's never something I want to do, but I have to do it anyway, and I can do it. But if you find yourself for forcing yourself too often to do too many things, that might be the enemy of your determination and productivity. You can have the most can-do attitude in the world, but if you are constantly trying to power yourself through adversity, it might be time to look for a course correction and say, I can do this course correction. I can do this shift in my life. I can do this thing to shift my life to a position where I do not need to spend the majority of my time doing things that I don't enjoy and or don't want to do and or don't align with my own personality, ethics, morals. So that's it. I would recommend to you that you adopt a can-do attitude in your life. I try my best to wake up every day with that kind of attitude. Once in a while, I don't. But the vast majority of the time, I wake up with a can-do attitude. And if I don't wake up with a can-do attitude, I try and go to bed with one. Tomorrow, I can do better. That's it.